Instalay is versatile and can be used with many different types of floor coverings. Let's now watch as John shows us how straightforward it is to fit carpets using the double stick method with the Instalay peel and stick system. What I've done there was I applied the Ardex Tachyfier to the floor with a notch trowel. Normally, if you've got a lot of wheelchair traffic or wheel traffic, leave it as a notch. It takes slightly longer to go off, but it actually gives more strength. If it's just normal foot traffic, put a roller over it, and obviously that will quicken up and speed the process up for you. I left a six to eight millimeter gap between the wall and the underlay. This is to give a tuck finish to the carpet. It gives a nice crisp, clean edge when we're actually tucking the carpet in. And now we're going to roll out the carpet. This is no more difficult than on any other system. Having said that, the advantage with this underlay system is as you can see, it moves and glides along very, very easily because of the film that's on top protecting the adhesive. So when I now try and position it against the wall, it becomes very, very easy. <laughs> but of course, when we fold the carpet halfway back to expose the adhesive, I need to make sure that I don't pull the carpet out of line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a small triangle out of the film to expose the adhesive, and that'll just stop me from moving the carpet around when I'm turning it halfway back. Once we've folded the carpet halfway back, or approximately halfway back, we now just put a small score across the film, so that now it's easy to actually expose the adhesive. And as you can see, this is a very high grub adhesive. Now, one advantage with this type of adhesive, of course, is that there's virtually no risk of late placement into the adhesive. This is a fault when people use a wet adhesive. They allow too much time before they press the carpet into the adhesive. With this system, there is minimal risk of late placement because this is always going to remain sticky. When we lift the carpet in, this is going to depend on how large it is, but it's one person, two person, three person job. But we don't want to get any bubbles in the carpet. So we gently lay the carpet onto the adhesive. What we now do is we get our glider, which is a weighted round piece of steel. And this time, we glide it over the, over the carpet, but the weight ensures that we make good contact with the adhesive. Remember, we've had no waiting time. Most adhesives will allow between 20 and 30 minutes for the open time, which with this adhesive we can go straight in and there's minimal risk of late placement. I'm now going to show you how we cut and trim the carpet, give it a nice tuck finish against the wall. I've just got my trimmer in now, which makes it very, very easy. And then I can tuck the carpet down into the gap I left between the skirting board and the underlay. It's allowed me to give a very neat tuck finish. I'm now about to show you how we produce a join, which is bonded straight to the underlay. And like we did on the carpet, it's very easy to maneuver into place. If I just need to inch it very slightly, I can always use my knee kicker with just a small bit of hand action there, and that will get me the pattern absolutely smack in line. Once I've done that, 
put a bit of weight onto the carpet. I roll a section back and what we do is we score through the film so that we can remove it. That's exposed the very high grab adhesive. We now place the carpet back into position and I'm not going to put too much weight on at the moment because what I need to do is to lift both edges and feed them both in together to make sure that I don't trap any fibres between the joins. Now I'm going to use a roller which is a rib roller not a spike roller so it doesn't damage the fibres and I'm just putting some downward pressure where the join is to ensure I get maximum contact with the adhesive and as you can see we end up with a beautiful join. If of course you've got to do a lot of wet cleaning like in restaurants, public houses, those sort of things, we would actually produce a heat seam join. I'm using the Roberts Gold Foil Tape and what we're going to do is cut the, the length of tape that we require and now I'm going to expose the adhesive. All I'm going to do is to run my knife through the film and now I can position my tape exactly where I need it and that will stay in position on the adhesive on the underlay. We can now maneuver our carpet into position and if we need to just adjust the pattern very slightly we can use our knee kicker. Once we have the join in position we can now heat seam the join. I'm using a cool top iron with a rib base but it's important that the maximum temperature setting is three. If you go above three you will destroy the adhesive on the heat seam tape. Once we're happy we've got that in position Always go in the direction of the lean of the fibres. Our fibres are leaning from my right to my left, so they're all leaning in that direction. And if we actually go the opposite way and we brush it up, that's the way it will set because we're applying heat. Once we're comfortable, everything's in position. We place our iron onto the heat seam tape. We leave it for a short period of time just to ensure that the adhesive has melted. We don't move our iron too far because we want to make sure we have our two edges absolutely tight together. So now we feed the two edges in together, pressing with the flat of our hand to make sure we get good transfer of adhesive. When we've gone far enough, we use a seam weight. It's a weight with Teflon with holes in. This ensures that it keeps the join flat whilst we're producing the rest of the join. So once again, feed both edges in together. If you've got a slight gap in the join at this moment, we can actually knock it together with our knee kicker. As soon as we can, we turn our plate around to get the maximum length so that that keeps the join very, very flat. Don't leave the iron on one spot for too long because it will actually destroy the adhesive. And once again, if I need a little bit of adjustment, I can actually just use a knee kicker because at this moment in time I haven't exposed the adhesive on the other side of the join. I've done that deliberately so I've got a chance to manoeuvre the join into place so I get a perfect join. Particularly with this carpet we have a, uh, a motif in the middle there and it is important to keep that perfectly in line. On the last piece make sure you've got your heat plate in position ready. And when we take it out, stick it on your plate, feed both edges in together, making good contact, moving our heat plate over the join. When using Instalay as a double stick system, it really does provide a clean and fast installation. Let's also not forget that carpet joins are quick and simple with the peel and stick system. There's no risk of contaminating the floor finishes with messy adhesive. The adhesive membrane allows simple fitting to staircases. The system is quick to fit 
and can reduce the need for carpet grippers and adhesive. Also, a single stick installation is even easier and faster to complete, which is great for listed buildings. This peel and stick system gives perfect results every time.